Zimkita Mbambisa. Uh, briefly, that's my our sponsor, uh, Nobisa. She joined the business in, in August 2014. For three months, she kept on asking us to join the business. And I was like, uh, we have lost about 15, 20 kgs, whatever it is. To me, you see, look big. I was not, I was not me. I was an athlete, I so thought I don't need the product. Uh, she came down to Eastern Nantes about 300 kilometers, invited me to a meeting, she had a shake party. I was the last person to arrive and the only person who signed. <laughs> Present the products, I said, okay, this doesn't taste bad. I can do with it. Signed in December, I did nothing. January, I said, okay, I want you to do some business. How about trying to save a thing? And I started it. Um, within the first month, uh, I was able to make my reason to do business. And the reason was to do an extra 180 pounds. We are professionals, I mean, qualified natural engineer, she's in marketing. And, and unfortunately, we believe that for us to survive, we need an extra 3,000 rand, which is 170 pounds. Because we believe that the debts we have are meant to be with us until death tells us apart. And we're at that level. When we joined Paper Life, I can say having more dreams. Uh, I never thought I would need to have a passport. It was okay for me to just live within the boundaries of South Africa. Uh, I was okay with that. Um, I will take my wife out, we athletes, go out for two oceans marathon, complex marathon. We will we'll drive about 1,000 kilometers. We sleep, um, we sleep in a sort of um, two-star, two-star, two-star place. And I'll feel good that I've done something for her. Until her life came to our life. It, it changed everything. Uh, but guess what? There were challenges. Out of the blue, she fell pregnant. No <laughs> fault. No fault. So we have yet another challenge now. And I thought, ah, I'm about to build this money and clean the house. She's going to use the products, lose the weight. She gained a couple of patients to tell her story. But for everyone, we have a skeptical customer, a skeptical cousin, a skeptical whoever. Don't give up. I had a very skeptical wife. She said, I'm going to lose weight my way. I was doing her life for about eight, nine months now. She said, no, 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 I'll lose weight my way, not no her life. I was eating shake every morning in front of her. She said, I'm going to do it my way. <laughs> <laughs> and her way wasn't giving results. I said, okay, this is, this, is, this is nice. And how she got started? She don't ask me for my tea. She came to me, how come you are enjoying your, this tea of yours and I'm not, like, what tea? Then she brought me energy. She stole my energy. <laughs> That's how she goes started. Guess what? Now she makes the best shakes. Good day, everyone. Yes, uh, I was a skeptical one, very skeptical one. And the only reason I started, I, I stole is because I, I felt embarrassed because people would come into the house to collect the products, to talk to him, and I would see the difference in them. Now I was really shy to go back to him like, please give me some, I want to say, it's okay, let me do this, I'll do this in the office. And I used to have this thing in the office and it was so terrible and I was like, no, it's working, it has to work. I see people come in the house and it's working. And it's after good. he saw it, and I got, we got over that and I started on the shakes. I started going on to my Herbalife. life. I went to the website, I learned about the products. I learned what I need to do, how I need to make, I didn't want to ask him. How I need to, <laughs> I need to make my shake so that I get to lose weight, what kind of exercises I need to do. And I did that and people at gym started to notice and I was new at gym, I had just moved into East London. I was like, oh, you're losing weight. And I'm like, hey. <laughs> oh. oh, what are you using? I would never tell her, like, I just felt like it's my secret because when you're so used to doing so many diets, you don't want to share them with anyone. And I would get into the car and I was like, yo, I've got confidence today at the showers at the gym. And this lady was asking, like, what did you say? I was like, 
nothing. It's like, what? I, 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 I didn't get it. I didn't know. And then as soon as I started learning, people would ask me, like, no, talk to my husband because I didn't know the business side as well. So what I do is people would ask me, like, no, go to him. I get everything from him. He'll support you. But then people started wanting me. They wanted, no, I want to know what you're doing, how you're doing it. And then now I needed to learn. I needed everything. And I still learn from him every day. And I always tell people he does 80% of the business because sometimes I have to be at home, cook, spend time with the child, help with everything else. And he's out there at night working because we're still working full-time, eight-hour job. We knock off at five. And then boot camp starts at about half past five. He has to be there. And then I'm at home just getting things. And then he comes back probably around 11 p.m. because from that he goes to customers, do deliveries and everything. And it's been such a wonderful journey and I just want to say when you reach this level you just wake up and you're like okay how did I do it because the amount of money that we make obviously have a life has given us more than our job is doing and the reason we're still in the business and we get asked all the time is because we can still do it we can still do have a life and we can still work and we start we, we just want to do it this way as much as we can until we reach a certain time and level when it comes like oh okay now we can so now that we still can do it this way we kind of like happy with it